The Sufis are uh, very strange, mysterious mystics, not very well understood in, in the West. There, there's a lot of mystery, I suppose one could say, about them. They're, th they're thought to be very ancient, normally associated with Islam, and yet you studied with a Hindu Sufi in India. Yes. What, what is the origin of the Sufis? The origin of the Sufis is so ancient, as ancient and as old as humanity. There was in very, very ancient times, and they say it is even before the, who, the, the Vedic tradition, there was a sect which was, was the called... The Vedic Hindu tradition. The Vedic mm -hmm. Hindu tradition, yes. yes. Uh, it was called the blanket wearers, the sect of the blanket wearers, which is Kamal Posh in Sanskrit. They were wandering from country to country in search of truth. And no matter who was saying the truth, they, were, they would love to listen to it. It is said that they went to every prophet and they went even to Jesus. Like the three wise men. Perhaps, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, I do not, I am not sure what it yeah. was, but that's uh, what our teacher told us. Mm -hmm. And uh, then one day they have heard that there was a prophet in Medina and in Mecca, who was preaching the truth. So they decided to go and listen to him. By some psychic means, the Prophet Muhammad felt that they were coming, and he said, some Kamal Posh, the blanket wearers, are coming. In fact, they came after a few days, and as when they saw them, co saw them coming, he said, there is only one. He has no sons, he has no relations. There is only one. And they loved it because they believed in one. They didn't believe in the Hindu trinity. They didn't believe in the Christian trinity. They believed that there is only one truth and one God, and that's all that there is to it. So they asked the Prophet Muhammad if they can remain with him. He, of course, agreed. But when the Prophet died, uh, they began to be persecuted because, you see, that the, the leopard cannot, sp uh, cannot change its spots. They were free, free spirits, and they were always re rebels. Mm -hmm. So they will sit in front of the mosque and they will say, why do you go to the mosque? Like they did it in India, they said, why do you go to the temple? The beloved is everywhere. You don't need to look everywhere. The whole nature is the mystery of God. You don't need to pray in a, in a temple mm -hmm. or in a mosque. And of course, you can imagine that the, the priests and also the rulers of India or of uh, the Middle East, Eastern countries, they put them to death. Mm -hmm. So they were much, much older than the Islam. And in some sense, the, in different periods of time, they became the wise advisors to the rulers. And at other periods yes. of time, they, they were regarded as renegades trying to undermine the establishment. Perfectly correct, yes. And they were, they, but they were always re rebels, mm -hmm. really, and they were always free spirits. Uh -huh. If the king was also a free spirit or the ruler, then he allowed them to, ad to, to, to help them, to help him. But uh, if but he was a rather of a closed mind and not free and full of dogmas, well, he will put them to death. Both things happen sometimes. And it seemed that in some level the Sufis were indifferent as to whether they were rich, whether they were poor, whether they were accepted, whether they were rejected, that they were following a completely you know, otherworldly set of values. Correct. The, in the ancient times, the great Sufis were shoemakers, they were pot makers, they were tailors. And when a Sufi becomes really rich or through his talent gets a very good position, he will resign this position. Mm -hmm. They have to serve human beings in other human beings in humility. Yeah. One of the basic methods of Sufi training, as I understand it, is the use of the teaching story. And, and in fact, I understand Sufi teaching stories were the basis of Aesop's fables and the parables of Jesus and many of, yes. of the uh, fables of, of a number of different religions, even the Jewish Hasidic stories are supposedly derived from Sufi tales yes. and, and the Br'er Rabbit tales. And 
Well, the stories have been used in many, many Middle Eastern traditions. And in the Sufi groups, there is always a Sufi storyteller, or the teacher himself will tell stories, or the disciples will tell stories, and they are usually teaching stories with a special meaning on a special day and for special people. That was, that was yeah. the tradition. Uh -huh. And yet these stories have been preserved and, and handed down over time. It's as if, it's almost, one gets a sense when I hear some people who call themselves Sufis talking about these stories, it's like there's a science to the use of the teaching story. Yes, there is. We use, as I, as I would like to mention, we use it as dream interpretation. Mm -hmm. And this, this, I feel, is the modern way of Sufi stories. Can you explain the psychological that? Way. What, what do you mean by that? Well, we believe that a dream has much more meaning than just a dream. It is the message to us from our unconscious. It is a guiding line how to behave, what to do, in life or on spiritual path. Mm -hmm. So dreams are usually very, very important. And to interpret a dream is to contact a human being at a different level of consciousness. It, give, it helps him to be accepted, to be the center of attention which everybody likes. And of course, the whole group learns from the interpretation of dream because it is done in a group, like the Sufi stories. Is, is there some sense in which the interpreting of a dream is like the telling of a Sufi story? It is like a telling of the Sufi story, uh -huh. exactly. That the person er, will tell you the whole dream, usually a color, colorful story full of symbolism, then it will be pulled to pieces mm -hmm. and then put together again and everybody will say his, mm -hmm. his or her opinion. And we find that every dream has something special to tell to this particular person. And also those who interpret it find sometimes um, glimpses of truth in it. Uh -huh.